the voluntary subdivision rule. So I'm going to talk about the voluntary subdivision rule now. Despite the spacing and density rules, the general rule is that everyone has a right as a matter of law to drill at least one well on their property unless the tract was created in violation of the voluntary subdivision rule. The voluntary subdivision rule provides that a small tract will be deemed to have been voluntarily subdivided and the tract will not be granted a Rule 37 or a Rule 38 exception to drill a well. And if you remember, those are the spacing and density requirement, uh, requirements set up by the Texas Railroad Commission. So they won't be granted an exception to those rules if the small tract was sub subdivided pursuant to three situations. From a larger tract after discovery of oil and gas from a field located on the small tract, so basically after the discovery of oil and gas, by an oil and gas lease, number two, by an oil and gas lease, or number three, with the intent to circumvent the rules 38 and 38 set up, uh, 37 38, the uh, spacing and density requirements set up by the Texas Railroad Commission. So basically, if you've subdivided after discovery of oil and gas, by an oil and gas lease, or with the intent to circumvent the rules, then you won't be granted an exception to the voluntary subdivision rule.